Hi there, thanks for joining me for this week's Start to Finish Sunday. So um, what's on my desk here, this is kind of the, the direction that we're going to go, the supplies I'm going to use in this card. This is the Bloom and Marvelous stamp set, which is one of the celebration options. You can get this set for free with a $50 order. And then the colors I'm using are Island Indigo, Summer Star Fruit, Pool Party, and Wild Wasabi. And we're going to use the flower and the leaf to create... Um, sort of a background image uh, for our card. So let's get started. So I'm starting with a piece of Whisper White cardstock and this measures uh, three and three quarters by five. Then I just have a strip here of um, just copy paper, printer paper, and um, this measures an inch and a quarter wide. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of removable adhesive. And I'm gonna use my grid mat to line this up really well. And I'm going to place this across, kind of just below center, across my card. Just like that. And so we're going to be using this actually as a mask. And the sentiment is going to go in the white space left when we stamp over and then remove this paper. I'm starting with my pool party ink. And I'm going to stamp the flower a few times. And I'm going to stamp off the card a couple times and make sure that you stamp some overlapping the uh, mask, the strip of paper that we put across here. So I'm just going to stamp a few of these, leaving some nice space in between them. And then I'll do the same thing on the bottom half of where we put that mask. Just stamp a couple of these. So you can see I'm kind of going in a diagonal pattern um, across the card this way. So from the top corner here and then over like that and from over here and kind of down to the bottom corner. Now I cleaned my stamp and I'm going to do the same thing pretty much with the um, Island Indigo ink. And again leaving some space in between the flowers. I'm going to take my Wild Wasabi and I'm using the little leaf stamp that's in this set and I'm going to stamp this to fill in the spaces between the flowers. I'm going to stamp it a couple of times um, full strength and then a couple of times I'm going to stamp off. So I'll stamp that and then I'll do one here stamped off. Let's see. there and then stamped off over here. So I cleaned my stamp again and now I'm going to use my Summer Star Fruit ink and I'm going to stamp this flower three times just on a piece of scrap Whisper White. And then I'm just going to use my paper snips to cut these out, leaving um, a little bit of a white border all the way around the outside of the flower. Okay, you can see here my flowers are all cut out. And now this is my favorite part of this card, is um, taking off the mask. This is a lot of fun. Let's Ready? Let's see what we've got. How cool is that? Isn't that fun? Okay, now I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm using the Thanks So Much. This is from the Oh Hello stamp set. Um, I absolutely adore, their, there's three sentiments in that set and I love them. I absolutely just love the font. Okay, and I'm going to use my stamp -a jig to make sure that I'm lining this up just perfectly. And I'm going to center it within that um, band of white that was left by our mask and it's over to the right hand side of the card. And I'm going to ink this with basic gray ink. Okay. 
Okay, and I'll just stamp that down. Now I'm just going to add a half of a dimensional to the back of each of my summer starfruit flowers. And I'm going to go ahead and place these onto my card. And whoops, I want to put a few of them, or uh, two of them actually, um, overlapping the um, white space from the mask. Let's see. I can go it's right there. Okay. And then for one little touch here, I'm going to add oops, a medium size rhinestone to the center of each of the yellow flowers. Got a piece of pool party that measures four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to use some snail to attach my stamped panel. I will just center and stick this onto the pool party cardstock. And then I have a um, top folding portrait style um, card base here in the summer star fruit. I'm sorry it doesn't show up properly on uh, camera. It's really pretty color and I just can't get it to show up properly. But we'll just use some snail adhesive and center and stick this onto my card base. And there is my finished card. Now let me just show you, here's another one that I made that is almost exactly the same, but I chose to put it on a um, an Island Indigo um, card base instead of the Summer Star Fruit. And I actually really like them both. I, I don't know, I'm not really sure which one I like better. So um, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you next time for another video. Until then, happy stamping. Bye-bye.